Bitcoin recently reached all-time highs. If you're someone like myself that's in the cryptocurrency space and are following, this is very exciting news. We have been contacted by multiple people for different issues, and so I thought that I would make a short video to discuss one of the comments that one of our clients made on social media, and it was his comment was from Toby from Crypto Tips, the YouTube channel, that you should consider investing in a second passport through citizenship by investment before you buy yourself a fancy car or a fancy watch. So I thought I'd go ahead and read to you his comment that he made on social media as well as discuss it in more detail. So let me just pull up his comment. So he indicated that, how many of you plan on using some of your bull market gains to buy a second citizenship? For many of you, this will be one of the most important purchases in your life. In fact, this purchase should be done before, before you buy that cool car or that fancy watch. Just as you should never place all of your money in one basket, the same goes for citizenships. Be wise, my friends. You must think well ahead and be proactive. As many parts of the West collapse, as you can clearly see now, you'll be thankful you have options. Many of you might not see the need right now, but I bet many of you will see it when your government wants a large chunk of your hard earned money during next tax season. So similar to Toby's comments, many countries around the world are increasing taxes, increasing regulations. There's increased animosity towards wealthy individuals. There's more surveillance. There's more intrusion. There's more government authority. Many countries are cracking down on cryptocurrency investors making it more difficult for people to invest in cryptocurrency, as well as restricting people's freedoms. And so just like crypto, many cryptocurrency investors view investing in crypto as a way to safeguard their assets from government, citizenship is a way of ensuring that you have more personal freedom and options and protection. So many countries that have citizenship by investment are more pro-freedom, they're more hands-off, and they're more supportive to the development of crypto and are more crypto friendly. And so here are some reasons why as a cryptocurrency investor, you may want to consider a second citizenship through citizenship by investment. So one like Toby had mentioned is like diversification of citizenship and assets. It's a way to have access to increased freedom. If you are from an unfriendly country, such as the US, um, the U.S. is an unfriendly country towards cryptocurrency and you feel the need to renounce your U.S. citizenship, similar to Toby did. He now has much more personal freedom um, by having done citizenship by investment. It can be form, a form of tax optimization and management. For example, if you're a Canadian citizen that becomes a non-resident Canada, and you decide to relocate to the country where you did citizenship by investment from, for example, Antigua and Barbuda. Antigua and Barbuda has no capital gains tax, no personal income tax, no gift, wealth, or inheritance tax. It's a tax-friendly country. So depending on how you plan your taxes, there can be tax advantages to utilizing citizenship by investment. It's important to note that just acquiring the passport through citizenship by investment does not automatically result in lower taxes. You have increased freedom and travel opportunities, so having a second passport can be a way of securing more travel. As we saw during COVID, citizens of the United States had one of the most restrictive passports where they were not able to travel to many countries. If you were a citizen of Dominica, you could have traveled to South Korea for business if you needed to. So these are just um, ways of securing travel um, in different times and different time periods. If you're looking for someone that's looking for more stability and security, um, if you're from a country that you're not sure the position on cryptocurrency and you relocate to your country of citizenship, there can be advantages. It's also nice to be a citizen of a safe and peaceful country. Do you really want to be a citizen of a country that may go to war or that will start a war or that will be implicated in war? Do you want to be in a country that is against war or is more neutral? Um, so there's also enhanced privacy and confidentiality. A lot of the countries that offer citizenship by investment take a hands-off approach. They're not interested in knowing everything you do and, and uh, following you so closely around the world. Um, so this is a way of having more confidentiality and more ownership of your personal information. 
It can be a way to strategically tax plan, as I've mentioned, and estate plan. So some countries don't have uh, wealth, gift, uh, inheritance taxes. So it's obviously important to discuss with the tax attorney and have a tax strategy going forward, but it can be advantageous. There's also networking and business opportunities by doing citizenship by investment. You can reach out and be in contact with other citizens from the country. If you do decide to relocate, there's a lot of top entrepreneurs. And personally, having spent a lot of time in the countries that offer citizenship by investment, I've met so many people in the cryptocurrency space that have been movers and shakers and have really changed and had a huge impact on the crypto industry. And I've been very fortunate to have got into crypto relatively early. And I'm just super excited with the space and following the space and where it's going forward. So these are just some of the advantages of obtaining citizenship by investment, especially during the bull market. And as well, we have articles on our website at jhmarlin.com, which cover more topics and more advantages. If you are a crypto investor looking to do citizenship by investment, you can send me an email at jennifer at jhmarlin.com and I'd be happy to answer any questions you have. All the best. Bye for now.